imposing a military agreement upon uh, this country or using this country as a base for military operations or doing anything which may infringe against the sovereignty of this country or against its neutrality and all the efforts of the commission are geared to see that this country remains sovereign, independent and united. But do you read me, this is Yates. Below us now is the Theonook Trail. It looks much less developed than the Ho Chi Minh Trail, but nonetheless it too is a principal supply route into South Vietnam for the uh, communist forces. Here again you can see on each side of it the brown, dead-looking trees, the result of defoliation efforts to make the trail a little clearer for the bombing missions. It's very difficult to locate targets on the trail because of weather and also because the enemy has learned at the first sound of an airplane engine to hide and camouflage their vehicles and themselves. These roads and supply routes have all been built by hand, very often conscripted labor, people taken from the little villages and forced to work on these emergency supply roads. Under the present conditions, unfortunately, the Commission is not free to operate in every, each and every part of the country. And therefore, it's in actual functioning, it is, its functions are very much limited. Nevertheless, I do feel that by its very existence, it is keeping the hope alive that the country is committed to those ideals that, as I said, of unity, sovereignty, neutrality, and uh, integrity. And to that extent, I think we have the goodwill of all the secretary powers. They have already spent seven hours in their cockpits. There were five strike planes on the mission, all of them loaded with a complete assortment of lethal ordnance. I flew in the back seat of a strike plane. NBC News cameraman Charles Feckety flew in the American piloted fact plane, which was pinpointing the target for the strikes. We just had the target marked here, and now we're going to try to go in and cover it. target was a Laotian army outpost that had been overrun the night before. After a day's flying, there is happy hour, often a mixture of American whiskey and loud dancing. One pilot told me the whiskey helps him forget the 12.7s. He was referring to the 12.7 millimeter heavy machine guns, which are one of the communist favorite and most deadly anti-aircraft weapons. That thought always exists in the back of your mind. Now, it, you never know, of course, when somebody's going to pull in a 12.7. Whenever I go into a new area, I'm always careful to uh, at least stay above the effective range of a 12-7. Of a and then today it, it was particularly true that uh, I had no idea what to expect because the friendlies had reported trucks moving in the area and they could have been bringing in anything. So uh, I started out in the area fairly high 
But they have they don't have a tendency to shoot at facts so much unless they're reasonably sure that they can get them. Once they give away their position, then we call in too many airstrikes. And so they, they generally stay away until they're sure they can either get a fact or else they can get the strike aircraft. The forward air controllers have become a special breed. Their uniform usually consists of blue jeans, camouflage survival vest, and a Colt revolver. They are mostly captains and lieutenants in their early 20s. They're proud of their work. This one, George Towsley, graduated from the Air Force Academy in 1969. Before that, he was an Eagle Scout. How long do you normally stay out on one of these missions? Well, we can go for about uh, three hours with the fuel we have, and we can stretch it to 3.5 mission. Uh, four hours about the very most this airplane can go, and that leaves us no reserve, so uh, 3.5. Will you be relieved by somebody else then, or? Uh, no. I'm taking off now and uh, I'll go to about five o'clock and then I start going back home and uh, I'll be here for the day. We just fly in the daytime. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Six weeks ago, George Towsley's luck ran out. He was killed over Laos. No one knows how many Americans have died there. That part of the secret war is still secret. <laughs>